our lives have followed a long path. But eventually, all roads reach their end. Still each breath. Our world is broken, stagnant, fallen into the abyss. But everything is born from darkness, even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death, once life returns to this world, we'll meet beyond that path. Liquid nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function, not detected. Subject status, stable. Dagger, still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Secure me, breach. Secure me, breach.
Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman too. I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. You awakened the cradle, and that's something only a metahuman could do. Do you remember who you are? It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, Metahuman. I came to secure a deviation, a paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place, but only if you help me complete my mission first. All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. I'll be right here in the cradle. Now let's go. of stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like But you're a metahuman. You should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right, you might even be able to use stardust to your advantage. My name is Victor Hammond. What's your name? I don't know. I just know I'm a monster. My mom, my dad, they're gone. And it was all my fault. Hey, hey. Try and stay calm. I'm here to help you. No one can help me. It would be better for everyone if I just... Just leave me alone, please. I'm afraid I can't do that. And you're not a monster. In fact, you're very, very special. You just need to learn how to control your own strength. Once you do that, you can help fix this broken world. We can do that together. My butterfly, it's flying. Yes, your first deviation. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. It means child of light. It's my first creation. I will create more. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I've finally found it. You. We can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, 
yet invincible. Secure it. still alive yes and look what i found a meta only just woke it up they were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free thank you meta human this means a lot to me you can call me mitsuko i used to be a meta human as well rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me that is until v saved me mitsuko is a very special meta she can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the Stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. Yes, an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful, and safer to be around. The butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension, something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Like with Starfall, sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly, but others like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, of course. But if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. Also, 
The stardust just keeps spreading, and we aren't sure why. Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help.
This siren. So strong. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Escaped. Just driving it away was enough. And it's all thanks to you, Meta. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you've saved me. Yes. Izuko created this rift space. A refuge from the dangers of the physical world. Or so we thought. Do you think that deviation will come back? It's possible. We just can't sit here and wait, though. Meta. Will you go back to the physical world with me? Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully we'll meet again one day. It looks like this is goodbye. Before you go, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them for you. after Starfall, and the world is still infested with Stardust. It looks like the monoliths here have been reactivated too. They might hold the key to all this Stardust pollution. Now that we've made it, let's set up a territory.
Nice work. I've managed to unlock some memetics from Mitsuko. If you access them through your cradle, you'll be able to craft and build what we need. Even with memetics, you still won't be able to craft anything out of thin air. We'd better gather some ore and logs.
also need a furnace and a disassembly bench to process the materials we gather. Use the furnace to refine raw materials into something more practical, or needed for advanced items.
this. This is a strong foundation for us to build upon. I've set up a journey interface to help track our progress. For each task you complete, you'll unlock some supplies we can use. So far, what we've got won't do much against those deviants out there. We need proper weapons and armor. There are some abandoned Rosetta facilities nearby. Maybe we could find some useful supply crates there. I've marked their locations on your map.